Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump finally breaks silence about what Melania is dealing with that's kept her out of public. Dash it's rough. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania were spotted in public together, marking the first time that she's been seen in public in almost a month. They were once at an event for Gold Star families, but then they were also seen during a briefing that was in relation to the current hurricane season and how the government is preparing for it. This is a typical meeting that took place, so that wasn't out of the ordinary. However, it was great for people to see Melania in public as her kidney surgery and fact that no one has really seen her in a few weeks had sparked off some sort of wild internet controversy. Trump seemed to be talking about what he and Melania were going through and he mentioned a rough patch which could have involved any sort of various things. Anything from the controversial conspiracies swirling around missing Melania to her recovery from the kidney procedure, and even the work that Melania must catch up on since she probably missed time as she was recovering. The Trump family seemed to be rather resilient and continued to work through things and make their appearance anyway. At the very least, the skeptics on social media would now get to see Melania for the second time and perhaps alter their conspiracy about where she's been. Chicago Tribune provided this information. The First Lady showed herself in public Wednesday for the first time in nearly a month, seated alongside her husband, President Donald Trump, for a briefing on the federal government's preparedness for the hurricane season that began June 1. The routine meeting at Federal Emergency Management Agency headquarters took on outsized significance after the White House revealed that Mrs. Trump would accompany her husband. Before Wednesday, she had not been seen off the White House grounds since May 10, days before she was hospitalized to treat a benign kidney condition. The first sighting of the First Lady came as she and the President strolled down the walkway from the Oval Office and climbed into the Beast, his idling limousine. She was wearing a belted trench coat and her customary high heels. Minutes later, Mrs. Trump took her seat alongside the President at one end of a long conference table as the FEMA briefing began, appearing to be her usual self. She's doing great. She went through a little rough batch, but she's doing great, Trump said at the top of the meeting surrounded by his cabinet as several governors and other officials participated by video conference. And we're very proud of her. She's done a fantastic job as first lady, he added, the people love you. The people of our country love you. So thank you, honey. The first lady smiled and nodded as her husband and others spoke during the portion of the briefing that was open to journalists. She and the president later spent a few minutes greeting FEMA employees. Mrs. Trump stepped with ease, smiled and was heard telling one worker thank you very much. It was her first appearance away from the White House since she and the president traveled to Joint Base Andrews to welcome home three Americans who had been released from detention in North Korea. Several days later, the First Lady underwent a procedure to treat a kidney condition. She spent five days in the hospital before returning to the White House on May 19 to continue her recuperation. She held private meetings with her staff and worked on projects though she skipped a few public events where her participation seemed likely, including a Medal of Honor presentation and a sports field day for professional athletes and kids on the South Lawn. But speculation mounted as week after week passed without a public appearance, spawning wild theories about where she might be and what might have happened to her. The First Lady addressed the issue on Twitter last week, saying, I see the media is working overtime speculating where I am and what I'm doing. Rest assured, I'm here at the at White House W my family feeling great, and working hard on behalf of children and the American people. It's great to see Donald Trump praise his wife and remind her that she's loved by many. Perhaps she really did hit a rough patch during her recovery. She may have felt down physically, but then also mentally if she saw any of the theories being shared around the Internet as if they were true. Every family who lives in the White House will hit a rough patch here or there. It's part of life and everyone goes through it. The Trump family is no different. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.